Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, freaks and geeks, trolls and derps alike, I am Mullet Mike, bringing you yet another episode of Creepy Gaming. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. If you know me, I like to shake things up, try to keep it fresh, you know? Today, for the first time, I will have a guest host, and it's a girl. Today's episode is about Luna Game and its sequels, so let's get this party started. Turn the lights down and the volume up as we journey into some creepy gaming. Ah yes, ponies. You either love them or hate them, am I right? Well, either way, you cannot deny the power of the pony community. A large number of our subscribers are actually bronies and Pegasisters, and I've got a ton of requests from them to review Luna Game. This episode is for you guys. Now, me personally, I am not a brony. Just not my thing. But I am not a hater either. So if you enjoy something like My Little Pony, psh, have at it. I'm not going to bash you for it. Now, since I don't know shit about ponies, and I don't want to sound like a total dumbass, because I can do that on my own, thank you very much. I don't need any help with that. I thought it best to bring in a pony expert. Commentator and badass artist Lisa M. is about to fill us in on this creepy game about ponies. And I know what you're thinking. How can a game about ponies be considered creepy? Well, Lisa M, share with us your infinite pony wisdom. On April 3rd, 2011, a game that was simply titled Luna Game was posted on Equestria Daily, a popular fan site for the TV show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The game needed to be downloaded to be played, which is a stark contrast from the other web-based games featured on the site. The game starts out as a simple platform. You are Luna, an Alapoint princess that raises the moon and stars every night. After about 30 seconds of gameplay, the game crashes, and one of two creepy images appear. One is a Zalgo-style Peaky Pie, while the other is a psychotic-looking Apple Bloom, one of the younger characters of the show. I know that the show touches on some dark themes, but I don't think anyone expected this especially with the innocent look of a simple platformer where you play a cute blue pony. I think it's safe to assume that some of the first brownies to play this game instantly soiled themselves when this happened. Hell, I heard all about the game before playing it, and I still didn't expect to be as freaked out as I was. The images are references to Cupcakes, an infamous fanfiction in which Pinkie Pie tortures, mutilates, and eventually kills her Pegasus friend Rainbow Dash before using her entrails as cupcake ingredients. Holy shit! The ending for the original version of the story features Apple Bloom as Pinkie's apprentice. While the image was showing, the player would find that they could no longer move their mouse. There are two ways to end the game. The first is to open up your task manager and end the process with your keyboard. The other is to just wait it out, as it'll close on its own after about 30 seconds. By the end of the day, Equestria Daily had removed the game and announced that they would no longer accept games that were not web-based. However, at this point, countless bronies had played it, and word was quickly spreading around about the strange game. It wasn't long before the game had been uploaded to countless fan sites, making it easily available for any thrill-seeking brony to download and play. Many fans of the game have told me that the only real downside of the game is that it creates a lot of image files that you have to manually delete. Oh, and the name of the image is The End Is Nay. Okay, yes, I know how lame it sounds. That's not the point. Several sequels have been created, as well as a prequel, all rumored to be by the creator of the original game. Somehow, the creator has managed to remain anonymous, an impressive feat considering how easily a person can be found online. The second game features an image called Luna's Descent, which illustrates Luna's fall into evil, allowing her to turn into Nightmare Moon, the villain from the show's series premiere. While Luna Game 2 and 3 are similar to the first, without the burden of additional files, Luna Game 4 is a sharp turn in direction, being based more on gameplay and less on screamers. What makes the game, as well as the prequel Luna Game Zero unique, is the inability to play the game more than once. Although there are programs that you can use if you want to play the game again. Luna Game Zero takes a whole new approach to the series. 
featuring an actual quest and a choice between six different levels. Like its predecessors, though, it does feature a creepy image of Pinkie Pie. Overall, this is a game that has become part of Brony history, and is almost as infamous as the aforementioned story Cupcakes. As strange as it is, though, I think it displays some of the talent that is in the community. And with the quality of fan works increasing steadily over the past few months, I'm sure it won't be long before someone else makes a new game that will put this one to shame. Speaking of fan works, I'd like to give a few bro hopes to some bronies out there who helped me out with this. First, I'd like to thank my friend I'd be a brony rapper for letting me use his song A Dark Friendship for this video. I'd also like to thank my friends Saber Spark and Paleo for all their hard work, especially for their promotion of various things going on in the community that don't normally get a whole lot of recognition. Special thanks to Lisa M. Awesome job. Special thanks to the Pony community. Uh, all the links will be in the description. If ponies ain't your thing, then stay tuned next week when I go back to my roots with Call of Duty Zombies. I am Mullet Mike with Paddle saying keep it stay creepy. Thanks for watching. Peace.